Good evening. This is Pastor Spencer from Messiah Lutheran Church, Salem, Oregon. Today is Sunday, May 17th, and our devotion tonight is the second half of Psalm 55. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But I call to God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning, and at noon, I utter my complaint and moan, and he hears my voice. He redeems my soul in safety from the battle that I wage, for many are arrayed against me. God will give ear and humble them, he who is thrown from of old, because they do not change and do not fear God. My companion stretched out his hand against his friends. He violated his covenant. His speech was as smooth as butter, yet war was within his heart. His words were softer than oil, and yet they drew swords. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. But you, O God, will cast them down into the pit of destruction. Men of blood and treachery shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our prayer for this evening. O Lord, faithful God, behold how faithfulness is diminished among the children of men. Guard us against the hurtful deceit of wicked men and grant us grace to be true and faithful toward all, both friends and foes. Grant us wisdom to prove all things that we may not be carried away by the cunning of men from the straight path of honesty and truth. In Jesus' holy name, amen. And our word study for tonight is still Romans chapter 1, and we begin with verse 8. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you, because your faith is being reported all over the world. So far the text. St. Paul called as a servant of Christ, gave up all for Christ to become an apostle, to utter the words of truth to the Gentiles, and now he tells these same Gentiles that he shared the gospel with, I thank God through Jesus Christ for all of you. I thank God because your faith is being reported all over the world. You see, faith is not something that is sterile. Faith doesn't start here. It starts there. It starts with God. God breathes faith into us, and faith is not dead. Faith is like breathing. If you're alive, you breathe. Oh, you can stop your breathing. But if you do, you'll pass out, and then you start breathing again. Or you could stop your blinking or count your blinking. It's an automatic reflex, and faith has certain elements that are automatic reflex. We think about the fruits of the Spirit. Paul talks about love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Against such things there is no law. Those are byproducts of the Spirit. That's the Spirit's work in you. Those are byproducts of faith, the work of the Holy Spirit in you. People love because they are loved. People give because it is given unto them. People share because God has shared with them. These Gentiles heard the word of God and believed. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of Christ. And so by hearing this word, all of a sudden they're sharing, they're loving, they're caring, they're doing what Christians do. The world's not wired that way. The world says, if it's meant to be, it's up to me. God helps those that help themselves. But the Word of God says something completely different. The Word of God says, receive. And when you receive, you believe. When you receive the Word of God, it speaks truth into your heart and into your mind. It speaks faith into you. And that faith says, yes, God, I am listening. Use me. Mold me, shape me. You are the potter, I in the clay. So St. Paul sees what's going on with these Gentiles, and he says, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you. 
through Jesus Christ. Paul gives up everything he has, counts his own life as loss for the sake of Jesus Christ, and Christ fills him up. It works the same way with us too. God fills us up, packed down and overflowing, because God came to give and to give abundantly. So, that was being reported all over the world. Today, as things go sometimes from what appears to be bad to worse to better, the word of Christ goes out. And the people hear the word of Christ. They hear of the love of God that's greater than anything going on in the world. But if we lean to our own understanding and not to the word of God, that's when we get in trouble. So let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in Christ, for he is bigger than everything else going on out there. And when the day comes that you're called home, you will be received into glory. This is not big enough to stop that from happening. Not this, but the pandemic. Anyway, may God bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. And may God grant you a quiet heart and time together with his blessing. In Jesus' name, amen.